everybody, welcome back. What I realized is that I have not been doing monthly favorites lately. The summer has just slipped by, so I decided I'm gonna do summer favorites and kind of roll everything into one because there's definitely some products that I fell in love with this summer and I've been using daily, if not weekly. All right, so the first item is what's on my nails. I fell in love with this Essie Gel Couture line. And uh, it's a two-step process. You have to get the white, uh, top coat bottle and then you can pick one of like 49 colors. They have something for everyone. Again, I'm wearing white today. I absolutely love it. I love that you can do this really quickly. Uh, what I do is I just take like an alcohol, um, just regular alcohol in my bathroom and a cotton swab and I just wipe off my nails. Then I paint the color on, wait two minutes, paint a second coat on, wait two minutes, and then I paint the top coat on. And then I wait about two minutes. Now I wouldn't go into like, you know, serious work with your hands right after that, but this dries so quickly compared to the regular nail polishes. Totally worth the money and um, you get a lot of wear on this if you wear this right and you use the two-step process. The kicker is it comes off with just regular nail polish remover. So you, there's just no drilling, your nails don't get messed up. I got it on my toes and I, it lasted four weeks. So it's pretty crazy. It works really good if you get it on right. And um, again, 49 colors. They average about $12 a bottle, but you can buy like two packs with the uh, top coat and the regular color. So you can get really good deals. Um, you can find them Target, Ulta, lots of places. I'll put some links below for you. These are totally worth a shot if you like doing your own nails, but you want more of a professional look. I have two scents that I have been just loving this summer. The first one is a limited edition Joe Malone, and you can tell that it's different because it comes in a different shade of a bottle, beautiful wood lid. This one, I'm gonna torture the name. It's called Crystal Campion, which uh, Campion, I believe, is a type of flower. But this is the freshest, cleanest, non- overly floral scent. Um, I believe it is actually like a unisex scent and it wears differently on different people, but it is incredible. I love it. I keep reaching for it. Uh, you can purchase it at a certain Nordstrom and I believe Bloomingdale's and hopefully on the Joe Malone website. So I'll put a link to this as well. And I believe it's pretty true to pricing for Joe Malone for this size bottle. I want to say it's around $78, but I've been using it all summer. And if you can see, I've only used up to here. So this definitely lasts well. The second scent that I love is this uh, Maddie or Maddie by Rosie Jane. I know it's super hard to see because it's a clear bottle. I talked about this once before when I first purchased it, but now is the time that I've been wearing it because this smells like a beach trip in, on a bottle. It has like this mixture of like salt, sand, sunscreen, suntan lotion, coconut. It's just absolutely incredible. So if you've been wanting to go on a vacation and haven't made it to the beach yet, spray some of this instead. <laughs> I love it because it is um, available at Sephora in multiple different size options. So you can get it in the like under $30 range all the way up to about $70 for the larger bottle. Um, and I love that because you don't have to have such a commitment with the big bottle, but obviously I love it. So I got the bigger bottle and I am obsessed with this. You can't talk summer favorites without a sunscreen. Oh man, I finally found a super goop that I fell in love with. This is the super goop unseen sunscreen and it truly is unseen. What I really love about this is I use it on my face and look at that. It is literally like a clear, it almost looks like a clear silicone based primer if you're familiar with those types of things. Um, but oh man, it just goes on beautifully, especially on my face. And I actually double this. This is like a primer for me. So it kind of blurs things just a little bit and helps to mattify, which is the opposite of most sunscreens. Most sunscreens, they just do the opposite. They just like cover my face in like this greasy look and it's super shiny and I'm having to powder down. So I absolutely love this and I do it all over my face, my neck, my ears. And I have the larger bottle, which I believe is in the like 40-ish dollar range, but it's lasted me so long and I am truly using it like I should. Um, but again, I use other sunscreens from the neck down. So that helps to last. You also can get a smaller size, which is going to give you a good couple weeks worth of if you just use it on your face, if you don't want to like 
like you know use the full price and buy the full size next up I have a couple of makeup things and I'm really just talking about them because they truly are favorites I use these every day and I cannot stop using them this is the um, original NARS Laguna oh man it, it just it even though it's a powder it just blends like a dream you you can't mess it up and they have so many other shade options as well but laguna is what's working for my skin tone and i love it because i can use it when i have more fair skin i can use it when i have a tan and it still gives a little bit of a um color difference and it gives um just oh just love it i just love how it applies as well the full size is uh 38 dollars but again i've been wearing this every single day just piling it on and i have not even it still says nars on there you can pretty much see that still and then this whole section is an actual full mirror so because it's slim and compact it travels really well and i love the mirror because in a pinch you can use it if you're in a hotel or whatnot so totally worth the price but you can also find this sometimes in a mini version or get it in a set they'll do it oftentimes this with the nars orgasm blush um, and that's definitely worth a uh, you know purchase as well because those blushes last forever i had the small size of this uh, for approximately nine months and it lasted nine months and using it every day so i knew that this one was going to last me a long time and i'm so happy i got it on the much more affordable end of this spectrum is this essence the blush in number 10 befitting so good so flattering for you know us uh, 40 plusers this works beautifully and it is under five dollars well under five dollars and i just love 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 this it has a hint of radiance but just it, it doesn't show any flaws it just blends beautifully and i love the combination with my um nars laguna i think that these work beautifully together but even on its own this is just perfection and because it's such um just a beautiful soft shade you can wear it with almost any makeup look and you can put it on a little heavier or just do a light dusting i'm actually wearing both of these today and oh man i absolutely love it <laughs> Next category would be the clothing section. And I'm not gonna model this for you because I actually have a um, full video and I've actually posted uh, other pictures on Instagram and whatnot uh, wearing this skirt. But this was my favorite of the summer and I love it because I'm gonna easily be able to wear it into the fall with another favorite of yours that I'm gonna talk about in a minute. This is that Godet skirt from The Loft. I got it on sale. Um, of course, they always have sales, but it is just amazing. And for so many reasons, I've gone on a few little trips uh, this summer and this is so lightweight and airy that it just rolls into nothing and it can go in your overnight bag. It can go into your luggage and you can dress it up or down. I wear it with tank tops. I wear it with like my Walmart t-shirts. I even have thrown it on with sweaters. It just works and I use it in place of shorts most days but then if I put a cute top and some cute shoes on then I can easily take that into the evening or into like a semi nice dinner and you know it just works for absolutely everything love 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 this skirt and I'm really going to be looking at um, more of these at from the loft I really hope that they keep making these go day skirts I also love that it's not a mini skirt you know I'm on the taller side I'm also over 40 I just don't like wearing mini skirts and short shorts things anymore and this is just the perfect length and it actually almost has a tiny bit of a high low and because it doesn't completely flare out the godet part means that it just has these little triangles at the bottom it gives you that flutter and that fun but it doesn't like totally blow up in the wind i've worn this to beaches and on windy days places and it doesn't ever blow up on me which is super important super affordable i'll put the link below and i'll also link the um, video here up above of when i purchased this and did the haul so that you can see what it looks like on more favorite without talking about a swimsuit and this one is not new if you've watched my videos for a while i've mentioned this several times but i cannot stop talking about this because it is the most flattering and affordable swimsuit it's from that cup she brand with um i think you can buy cup she on its own but it's also an amazon kind of uh brand that you hear about a lot 
This swimsuit in particular though works so well. It is fully lined. It's fully lined with like, you know, white lining everywhere. So it's just really flattering. It has a touch of ruching. So that's really great for bellies. It's very low cut. So I love the um, low cut and the wider straps because that definitely focus the eyes up if you're a pear shape. But honestly, it's flattering on any body type um, because it adds dimension and a little bit of um, interest where you want it to and it always minimizes any place you don't want attention and also has like a lower back but it's definitely high enough to cover everything and you don't have to worry about it and then it's adjustable with this you can actually like loosen or tighten this for your bust size and then it has removable cups so for the price and the color options, you cannot go wrong. This is just a perfect swimsuit. Travels well, looks super cute if you have like um, beach cover ups or just skirts or linen pants or linen shorts and you wanna just throw these on. And then if you even wanna just throw a linen top over it and open so you can actually just like run from the pool or the beach and just go grab lunch. Um, it looks like you have a really cute top on. So I love a, you know, a swimsuit that does double duty. Now I wanna talk about your favorite and this is what's gonna be great for fall. This um, was definitely the most favorite item. I'm gonna to have to stand up so you can actually see it of um, the entire summer look based on my analytics. This is that free assembly uh, linen blend white blazer. And this thing has been so popular with you guys. And again, thank you for all your support and for just using my links when you do. It just helps this channel keep going. But this thing has, oh, it's beautiful. And I'm embarrassed to say, I really haven't worn it yet. Um, I've. <laughs> I've traveled with it. I've put it in overnight bags. I take it with me everywhere that I go right now, but it's been a million degrees here. And so there's just not really been an opportunity to need it yet. But it's one of those things that I take with me and I have at all times because I can throw it over jeans, skirts, dresses, shorts, whatever, um, or just throw it over my shoulders. And, um, you know, if I'm in a cold place, but unfortunately I haven't been in a cold place. So that's that, but I will be wearing this and styling it a lot more in the future. I love this one, super cute. The last summer favorite I wanted to talk about before I get into my two fails is kind of a funny one, but hear me out. This is the Hydro Flask Cleaner. <laughs> I thought that I didn't need this for years, but we have so many different types of like water, you know, containers and hydro flask types of products that it was getting harder and harder to clean and they all have different like mouth openings. So I just gave up. I think this is approximately $12, but it has <laughs> changed everything. And it's so convenient with the long handle that um, I'm actually starting to ruin it because I catch myself grabbing it and like using it for other things so that I don't have to get my hands like into the pots and stuff so it does work for that but i'm truly ruining this for the real purpose so i need to behave but i love it because you can use it for even these smaller mouth hydro flasks and it's made perfectly so that it hits the bottom and you still have plenty of room so that you don't you know like have to throw the whole thing down in there but it also works beautifully for like, I think this is called Swell. Yeah, a Swell bottle. And these have always been the worst because they have the tiniest mouth openings. I mean, really, how are you gonna clean that? So this, um, these bristles are soft enough that they slide in with no problem, um, but yet they pop back open and clean perfectly. So totally worth the $12. We purchased ours at Dick's Sporting Goods, but I will look and see if I can find links to um, the Hydro Flask one and elsewhere they probably have them on the hydro flask uh, website as well um, but if i cannot find a link just know um, anywhere that they sell like a lot of hydro flask uh, products you're most likely going to find this so really really worth the money okay we always have to share the good with the bad and this is a fail for me and um, this was the eva i believe nyc it is the Freshen Up Invisible Dry Shampoo. I have uh, heard mixed reviews on this. I've heard that it also smells really good and that it actually works. So I thought, all right, I'll give it a shot. Um, but you know, I have to use that Perfect Hair Day, the original one. That seems to be the only one that truly gets the oils out of my hair, doesn't make my head itch, and um, actually makes my hair have a little bit of life in it, if that makes any sense. Most other dry shampoos don't really do that for me. And this one in particular, 
I caught myself messing with my hair more and more and more the days that I've used this and having to scratch my scalp. Now, I don't know because it does have argan oil um, in it and I think I've had issues with argan oil in the past. So there's something in this that um, really just bothers my scalp and it makes it itch. Uh, and not to mention, I don't feel like it gets the oil kind of absorbed. So it's definitely a fail for me. And yes, it is affordable. Yes, you can buy it at Target and those types of places. But for me personally, it's way worth it to either save my points up or wait for sales you know like at Ulta and buy um, the perfect hair day ones those just work so much better for me so unfortunately this is gonna be a fail my last fail oh man and I knew better I should have known better so um, backstory is I absolutely love the milk lip and cheek stick in the color work I um, got a small mini probably three years ago, the thing still had product in it from me using it, you know, multiple times a week. Um, so the size necessarily isn't the problem of that. But what happened was I went to finally buy a full size of it and they only sell the mini size now, but they're calling it the full size. And I don't think that they dropped the price. So you used to buy, be able to buy a mini for under $20 and then the larger for like a little over $20. Now, Milk is selling the mini for like 21 bucks. And it's just the principle of the thing. So I said, I'm, I don't care how much I love the product, I'm finding something else to replace it. So my first try was this e.l.f. Uh, monochromatic multi stick and I've heard pretty good things about these so I thought all right I'll give them a shot I believe they're in the four dollar range <sighs> you guys I bought the color sparkling rose I am in my mid 40s I don't need anything called sparkling but for whatever reason I wasn't thinking about it and I thought this was the darkest shade and um, that it would work better because I have heard that the light light shades don't really show up on you so the color is not the problem. I actually love the color and it does come up, it's like a multi-stick. And uh, dollar for dollar, it's still a better deal than buying the Milk Makeup if it would last very long, but I don't know. Um, so <laughs> here's the problem. Okay, beautiful color, so pretty actually, and I do love the shade of it on my lips and it doesn't taste bad or anything, but I, it's really, really hard to show you because I don't think it's gonna pick up. When you're putting it on your cheeks, I'm not even gonna mess my face up with this. First of all, it's Sparkle City. And I mean like it looks like I put a blush on and then put like, I don't know, like a sparkle pigment or something over it. I mean, it's like I'm going to a rave type of sparkling. Um, it also will do that a little bit on your lips, but it's a little better on the lips, I guess. The sparkle goes away faster. However, it also was really patchy. I tried it with no makeup underneath and I tried it with my full normal, you know, makeup routine underneath. It did not wear well either way and it pulled up the makeup that I had underneath it on the side that I had the, the makeup on. I mean like really patchy and just doesn't wear well at all. And it almost starts to look like, um, you know when you're not feeling well and you get like a blot blotchy kind of splotchy face? It kind of pulls that and I don't know I don't know if it's just me or what but I've tried it with you know um, just putting it on with the fingers with the brush you know different different ways I tried to make it work not happening and I definitely should not have bought anything that said sparkling in it all right that does it for my summer favorites and fails I really hope that you found some value in this video and if you like these types of videos make sure you hit like and subscribe that just helps my channel to keep going and until next time I'll see you soon